Hello and welcome back to our course on PowerPoint 2013. In the last two sections we looked at the various views that are available in PowerPoint 2013 and in this section we're going to look at a subject which is closely associated with the use of views and that is the use of Zoom. Now the reason that we use and need Zoom is to be able to take either a very close up view of something in a presentation or to take a long, a wider view. When we get close up we talk about zooming in and when we talk about taking the wider view we talk about zooming out. Now the tools that we use for Zoom are the same whichever view you're using but there are some differences and I want to look first of all at what we call one of the single pane views. We're going to look at the notes page view that we saw earlier on and the notes page view only has one pane that's P-A-N-E that type of pane and let's see how we can zoom into and zoom out of notes page view. Well in some ways the simplest way to zoom in and out is to use the zoom controls at the bottom right hand corner of the workspace at the right hand end of the status bar because here you have a zoom slider and a fit to window button in the bottom right hand corner. Let's look at the zoom slider first. At any time the slider shows the percentage of zoom so at the moment we're on 60% zoom. If I wanted to zoom in further I would click the plus sign and I'm now on 70% zoom. Now I'm on 80%, 90%, 100% is the setting in the middle so I can actually go well beyond 100% and under normal circumstances the maximum zoom is 400% although for some views you cannot go above 100%. Now to reduce the zoom I can just click the minus sign the zoom out button at the other end of the slider and that goes down in 10% increments as well. It's also possible to use the slider itself so if I click on the slider with the mouse I can actually slide on a sort of continuous scale and go in as close or to go out as far as I want to and as you can see at 40% zoom this notes page looks very small and that's really where the button on the right the fit to window button works because if you click on that one fit to current window whatever view you're in it will fit what you're looking at to the available space and in this case that means a 60% zoom to make that notes page fit in the available document window. So let's look at the other main single pane view which is slide sorter. I'm going to do this with my fingers instead. I'm going to do it with touch. So first of all I'm going to touch on slide sorter as the command on the ribbon to choose that view and then instead of using the zoom slider or the fit to window button I'm going to use a touch gesture which is pinch if you're using touch you'll understand pinch that's two fingers or finger and thumb on the screen and pull them together to pinch and when I pinch then I'm going to get more slides into the slide sort of view obviously that's a good idea if I've got many slides in my presentation so I zoom out with pinch but to zoom in I use stretch so either finger and thumb or two fingers put together on the surface of the touch device and pull a little apart and PowerPoint 2013 does the rest it will rearrange them obviously I can adjust that as finely as my ability to do accurate gestures will allow but of course the slider is available and as we'll see there is an alternative approach that will work with either touch or mouse and keyboard as well now let's take a look at zoom in normal view because this is a little bit of a different story really. If I click into normal I now have the three panes. I have a pane on the left that has the thumbnails of the slides and on the right I have two panes. The upper pane has the currently selected slide in it and the lower pane has the speaker notes in it. And this time I'm going to look at this using a different zoom control. The zoom control I'm going to use is on the view tab on the ribbon. There is a zoom group. One of the buttons in it is fit to window that does basically the same as the fit to window does at the right hand end of the status bar. But the other one is a zoom button that brings up the zoom dialog. 
Now what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to put the cursor into the speaker notes. So it's down on the lower right pane of the display. And I'm going to click on Zoom. And notice it says that Zoom is at currently at 100%, which sort of means that in the notes at the moment I'm at the regular zoom level. Supposing I set that at 200% and click OK. I've zoomed in to the words, I've zoomed into the speaker notes, but I haven't changed the level of zoom on either the selected slide or on the thumbnails on the left. Note also that this setting does not affect and is not affected by the slider at the bottom. The slider will affect the slide itself. So if I use the slider now, watch what happens. It just affects the zoom on the slide itself, not in the speaker notes. So to adjust the speaker notes, click in there, use the zoom dialog, put it at say 50%, and my speaker notes are so small that I can barely read them. And then similarly, if I select something in the thumbnail pane on the left there, click on Zoom, this is currently at 58%. If I wanted it at, say, 100%, a higher level of Zoom, Zoom in more, click on OK. And of course, each of the slides is now bigger and PowerPoint 2013 adjusts the working area to accommodate that zoom in to the thumbnails on the left there. So there we have it, that's the basics of using Zoom and we've also looked at most of the available views. We've still got to look at presenter view and slideshow view that we'll come back to later in the course. Let's move on to the next section. I'll see you then. Hi everyone, Simon here from Simon Says It. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, new videos are uploaded to the Simon Says It channel here on YouTube. Just click on the subscribe button right over there. If you're interested in taking your Office 2013 training to the next level, you can get over 70 hours of Microsoft Office 2013 training offered by Simon Says It. Just check out the About section below this video with more details. We'll see you next week with additional videos.